Welcome back to day six of playing guitar faster in 10 days. We're seeing if I can double my speed. Still anyone's guess at this point in time. We are getting faster and that's exciting. We're up to six exercises a day, plus I'm practicing my major scale, so we're up to seven. It's definitely a really tedious process and I've done quite a few of these classes on pickup music. And while this isn't the most exciting, it does feel like Maybe this one is really teaching me something or maybe I'm learning good discipline and by doing this, I'm not sure. I did have to take a couple days off, not because my arm was destroyed or anything like that, but you know, life happened. Also worth noting, I'm gonna be changing the order I'm practicing. Before what I was doing is the new exercise first since I had just learned it and then kind of working backwards through the exercises. Instead, I'm gonna start with the exercises I started with on day one to see if that yields maybe a better result. So I'm not as tired by the time I'm getting to those since those are faster. Anyway, excited to resume and see where this goes. Here is day six. I was able to actually get this up about one BPM faster. I did notice that I'm watching my right hand a whole lot more than my left, which is interesting because usually when I'm playing, I find I'm watching my left hand go like, Ugh. you know, as if I was doing that. It's only one BPM faster, but I feel it. I gotta like watch my right hand to be like real efficient. So I find I just kind of want to like whack at it and you just can't do that at the speed. The twister, everyone's favorite. Seems like my left hand is finally starting to catch up on this one. Got it up to 182. On to the staircase. I still like this one. Right, we're up to 130 now. Guitar exercises always have to be so tedious. This baby steps thing is killing me. Woo. That was a little win for me. So we got this to 91, which is pretty good. It's such a weird stretch. I feel like my hand is like, like this, but mega. This next one kind of sounds like a worship guitar line. It's just like slow trim picking. And I imagine it gets up to fast trim picking. You said to really focus on making sure each of your up and down strokes is the same like tone, volume, smoothness. So I'm taking it slower today just to like really hone in on that. It's day seven. Almost there, 70% of the way there, and I am relieved <laughs> because this, is, this has been an undertaking. It's an undertaking, I think, for most of us to sit down and practice exercises. It's nothing to try and film it every time and all the extra work that comes with that. Today's exercise was pretty cool. I'm gonna try doing what I did yesterday. I watched the exercise and kind of learned it. Now I'm gonna actually go back from the top and start with the hard things first while my arms still feel kind of fresh. I think that did help a little bit, not totally sure, Try it out again today. Here we go. All right, scale check. Still hovering around 187 on a good day. We'll see if we can get one. If not, you know, we just keep trucking. Arpeggio, I think it's still around 184 on a good take. I find I could probably do it a little faster if I'm just getting one, but I can't sustain it. So I'm not sure that really counts. So I'm gonna keep it at 184 and see if we can get a couple clean takes. Twister, 184, it's like I think 1 BPM faster. Staircase at 133. Baby steps at 141, take the win. <laughs>
crab, or I would have called it probably the spider. Feeling a little less weird now. Uh, I feel comfortable at about 100. I do find that my hand tries to like let go of the guitar, so I'm trying to not do that. Take this twinkle twinkle thing at 125 now. It's starting to remind me of like an Irish jig. I don't know, maybe you'll hear it too. This last one is a finger picking exercise, which is good because that's probably the next area the guitar I really want to focus on and be better at. I'm going to take it at 75 because it's got a really particular pattern. So it's uh, actually one, middle, pointer, thumb, thumb, so. Seventy percent of the way there. Just kind of wanted to check in and share some of my thoughts so far. Um, noticing that my arm doesn't feel like it's going to fall off as much, which I think is probably good. It means we are building up that muscle. It does seem like my natural speed for alternate picking is somewhere around 180 to 185. That's like my natural place where I'm topping out. That's probably a thing. You know, everyone has that like peak weight at the gym where they're trying to get past it and they just gotta keep pushing and then the, the speed that you're you know incrementally going up does go down. I also find in the, the second half, I am less concerned with achieving doubling my speed in 10 days and I think that's a better mentality, honestly. If you go one BPM faster, that's a win. You are going faster. I don't know that you can double your speed in just 10 days, but I think I'm learning the skills in order to get to double speed eventually. I also appreciate that there's so many different exercises, I don't have to do them as long, because uh, sitting there running a scale for 30 minutes or something is not fun, but if you can do that, more power to you. We'll see how we do tomorrow. Day eight. I think I've met my match for this arpeggio. I'm gonna stay at 184 and see if I can get it tighter, because uh, just going faster for the sake of getting one good take isn't really what the point of this is, although it would be cool if it was faster. Twister is a little bit faster. Staircase, 136 BPM. <laughs> it's like the worst first take ever. <laughs> And do baby steps one BPM faster, and I'm happy with that. All right, here we go, the crab. Today's new exercise is the waterfall, and I think it's pretty cool. It feels uh, really bouncy when I'm playing it, like dee 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 dee. Just cool, and it's a little bit of a finger twister. Really enjoying this one. I'm at a hundred. exercises and you're working on something and it feels like you're not getting anywhere. Today was one of those days. It's challenging in a good way because I think I'm starting to reach my natural max on these exercises. So that's where the growth comes, but with growth is the challenge of 
it being a much harder thing to do and you may not get growth every day and it may not be like these big jumps and you're like okay i learned the exercise now i can go way faster as i can day because i understand what the exercise is you know i have a lot of these thoughts of like is this even doing anything and i'm not sure but i did have a moment today where for whatever reason i was like i'm gonna play charlie poos the way i am because that was always kind of a hard thing for me to do because it is so like I, I don't know i for whatever reason it's a hard song for me to play to doing the digga 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 and I, I wouldn't say I was playing it at tempo, but when I played the riff, it felt so much easier than it ever has. And that's a big thing for me. So I think we are growing. I'll see you in day nine. All right, feeling better about this 184 on arpeggio. I think I can get a real go in. Hopefully. Twister, 190. Staircase, uh, 136. I don't know how I did this yesterday. My arm feels so like jittery and not in it. <laughs> Got the crab at 110. Twinkle at 132. This one's kind of fun because you just kind of zone and it's very hypnotic. It's gonna be butterfly at 79. I'm feeling like kind of jittery still, so it's really hard for me to stabilize the finger picking, but I, I, was, I think I can get it maybe a BPM faster. Waterfall, still the best, at 112. Today's edition is called The Maze. I got it to 112. It, it is an interesting pattern and kind of counterintuitive to a normal, like, I don't know, like, one of those kind of things. So here we go, 112. to the end of day nine only one day left and i'm not sure that we're gonna hit a double speed maybe i'll increase by 180 ppm overnight <laughs> i am happy that i'm making progress but i gotta be honest this is a really frustrating process especially because there are so many exercises now even if you only spend four or five minutes you're looking at 45 minutes plus learning the new one so about an hour it's a lot of just exercise but that's good being frustrated can be good if it means you're pushing yourself if you're frustrated because you're bored i think that's a different kind of thing that i've also struggled with see how the final results are tomorrow all right since day one arpeggio i think i can do 186 <clears throat> here we go twister 191 staircase one <laughs> wish i was that fast 137 a pain in the butt. 145. Here we go with a crab at 114. Twinkle, 136. Here we go, butterfly. Waterfall at 120. This one is the maze at 128. This one's called math. Thank you.
we've all been waiting for, major scale. <laughs> We made it to the end of 10 days, and my goodness, I have never been so relieved to be done with the video. <laughs> to be honest, this was such a tedious task, uh, recording this every day, in addition to just the practicing and the learning. Like I said, you know, every day when we're adding another exercise, even if you do it for four to five minutes, it's another four to five minutes, and we're doing 12 to 13 exercises. It takes me over an hour just to get through the exercises. And for those of you that are practicing like eight hours a day, good on you. I remember that life. Times change as you get older and you can't quite afford eight hours a day unless, you know, this is your full-time job, then absolutely go for it. But I do want to say that while we didn't double our speed, I do think we did get significantly faster and I think I am starting to feel it maybe a little bit in my fingers. You know, the end of the video, of course, has this huge like disclaimer section, but it's not called a disclaimer section where it's like, oh, if you keep this up for 30 days, you'll be much faster. And like, well, no duh. That is life. I think sometimes things are just about repetition and I'll probably keep this exercise up. I don't know that this is something I'm gonna do every single day, but it's something I definitely wanna do a few times a week just to make sure that I am continuing to grow and get faster because I do think this method is working. Let's take a look. So on our first day, our major scale, we did at 175 BPM and our last day was 188, that's pretty good. That's 13 BPM faster in 10 days, a little more than a BPM a day. That's pretty good. I, I'll take that. The arpeggio activity, we started at 150 and that ended at 186. So that's a pretty big, it's like actually a really big jump, right? 150 and 186 is 36, right? I think 36 BPM over 10 days, 3.6 BPM a day. Very happy with that, especially because that one felt really hard in the beginning. That was when I was like, I don't know if I can ever get this faster, but it is getting faster. It's hard, but it's getting faster. Twister started at 145 and we ended at 191. That's another big one. That's I think 46 BPM different. So approximately 4.6 BPM a day on that. That's really good. Staircase. 95 BPM and 137. That's really good, man. The math is really killing me here. Uh, 95 and to 137 is five and seven is 42. I believe that is 42 BPM different. So another about four a day, really good. Let's see here. Well, actually it's a little more than that, isn't it? Cause I didn't practice that the full 10 days, but you know, for the sake of this, we'll say it was 10 days. Baby steps started at 130. And that's up to 145. The crab started at 85 up to 114. Twinkle, we did 111 to 136. Butterfly started at 75 up to 80. Waterfall, we started at 100 and we were up to 120. The maze went from 112 to 128. I mean, I was just, just yesterday we started that, but that's still like a pretty good jump. And then math, we just started today at 101. Uh, all in all, pretty happy with this. I think this is definitely one of the tougher courses I've done in terms of the time commitment and the source material at Pickup Music. It's not the most exciting, but it is a good one. You'll get better for it. I feel like I'm better for it. Maybe you can hear it. Maybe you're like, this guy totally sucks. I don't know. Either way, leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.